reading class, second grade. Today we have a story about golden rule corn. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting story. I read it the other day, and I think it's a really interesting story. So, um, let's see here. First of all, we're going to do a review again. And so let's look over here on the board. Um, so we have OUGH again. We're kind of stuck on OUGH for right now. But OUGH, it says so many different sounds, you know. So we, um, let's look here. We have this word here, and that is through, I believe. Well, shall we go through or through? Well, I think it's going to be through, so let's circle through. And then we have this word. Well, let's sound it out first. Do we go cough or cove? Well, I think we would go cough, I believe. And then this word, I need to write that down again. I had erased it a little bit. Um, it is supposed to say drought. Okay, so we have drought. Well, do we go draught or drought? Um, and it's supposed to be drought. And then we have rough. Do we go roof or rough? Rough. This word, though. Do we go though or law? It would be though. And then bought. Do we go boot or bought? We would go bought. Okay, um, now let's look over here at your new words that you have today. And we have five new words. So let's see once what they have to tell us today about. Okay, so apron is number one. Number two is beneath. Number three is dozen. Number four, extra. Number five, posted. Okay, so let's think about the meanings of those words a little bit. Um, apron. It's something worn over clothes to keep them clean, like your mom wears an apron sometimes over her dress, maybe, um, or maybe your grandma does, and it's, it, it keeps her dress clean, so that's what an apron is. And then we have um, beneath. Well, beneath or below means, beneath means below or under something like the mouse is beneath the desk. Dozen means 12, like I have one dozen of eggs. Extra means more than enough, like um, they gave us some extra apples in the basket, extra. Posted means put up for all to see. So if we posted something, it's like putting up the poster um, over here, like you see that giraffe there? So this is a poster and I posted that up for you to see. Okay, and so then next we have, um, yeah, all those are the words for today. So now um, let's talk about these words a little bit more. And we have which two words begin with vowels? So which of these two words begin with vowels? It looks like apron and extra, A and E. So the five vowels are a, A, E, A, U, or A, E, I, O, U. Those are the five vowels. Now, which word ends with a consonant diagraph? So, consonant diagraph um, are like sh, ch, th, and th. Well, beneath, this is the consonant diagraph. And number three, which word ends with a suffix? Suffixes are letters added at the end of root words. So, we have um, number five would be the word ending with a suffix because it ends with ed. Which word has the last letter of the alphabet in it? The last letter of the alphabet would be z. So we have one word with a z in, it would be dozen. Which letter do all the first three words have? So the first three words, which letter do they all th three have? I believe it would be the N. That has an N, this has an N, and this has an N. Which letter do all the last four words have? So the last four words, they all have an E in them. How many syllables does each word have? Well, let's see, we would go apron, beneath, dozen, extra, posted. 
I think they all have two syllables is what it seems like to me. All right, um, let's look now uh, at your story that you have today. So we have about a corn story and the title is Golden Rule Corn. So we have three main characters in this story. It was father, mother, and Benny. What were they getting ready to sell? They were getting ready to sell sweet corn. How can you tell what season it is? You can tell what season it is because the sweet corn was ripe. So sweet corn is ripe usually in the summertime, right? Okay, so it was summertime was the season. Benny was helping his mother sell sweet corn. When the first customer came, Mother counted out 13 ears of corn when the man had only asked for a dozen. Benny was surprised that his mother didn't count right. Why would she put 13 ears in, of corn in the customer's bag if he only asked for a dozen? Well, you can find out what happened in here. And I thought it is, um, yeah, a good story. And so the Bible verse also, let's go over that yet for today. Um, part C says, read the Bible verse to yourself three times. Um, the Bible verse is, and as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Luke 6, 31. And that's a good verse for us to remember. It's actually what they call the golden rule. So that's why your, ti your title for your lesson is called Golden Rule Corn. So you can find out what happened in today's story. Um, it must be something with golden roll because it's called the golden roll corn. Um, yeah, so you can find out what happened and I will let you begin.